Hi, this is Chris Hodge with the OpenStack Foundation. In this video, I'm excited to demonstrate Liberty, the 12th release of OpenStack. OpenStack is a set of software tools for building and managing cloud computing platforms for public and private clouds. The core components consist of a compute with image management service, networking, block and object storage services, as well as an identity service. Let's begin by logging into Horizon, the OpenStack dashboard. When we first log in, we're presented with an overview of the resources that are available to us and that we've currently used. As this is a new installation, we haven't used any resources yet. So let's get to work on spinning up a new instance. We start by configuring our security group policies to allow for remote SSH login. Then we create a secure key pair for passwordless login. Finally, we allocate a floating IP that we can use to access our systems from the public network. Using the interface to the image service, we upload a custom image to boot from. Start by giving it a name and a description. Then choose an upload source. Specify the image type and initiate the upload. Now that the image is registered and stored locally, it's time to launch our first instance. Give it a name and select an image to boot from. In this case, it's our newly uploaded image. Select the SSH key pair to automatically eject and check the network the image will boot from, then launch the image. Once the machine is booting, you can also associate the public IP address for external network access. One of the new features of the Horizon dashboard in Liberty is the Curvature Network Topology Interface. It gives you a complete overview of your existing networks and the resources attached to them. With OpenStack Networking, you get a powerful software-defined networking toolkit. To demonstrate, we'll create a new data network. We give it a name and define an initial subnet. OpenStack Networking is compatible with both IPv4 and IPv6. We also have advanced options for configuring IP allocation pools, DNS servers, and custom routes. With the network created, we need to attach it to our existing infrastructure. To do this, we create a data router and leave it detached from the external network. Then, we attach the router to an address on the private network. And then we attach it to the data network. With the dashboard updated, we see the public network attached to the public router bridging to the private network. The private network has a running node and the data router attached to it, which is itself attached to the data network. After launching a few more instances, we get a better view of how the curvature interface helps us visualize and manage our OpenStack resources. It even provides direct console interface to our running nodes, allowing us to log into our nodes directly from the browser. In addition to compute and networking, OpenStack also provides a block storage service. We're going to start off by creating a small data volume. Once it's created, 
we attach it to a running instance. Going back to the curvature interface, we open a console, format the newly attached volume, then mount it. We then add some data and unmount the drive so we can take a look at some of the other storage features. Let's create a snapshot of the volume and data we just created. Start by detaching the volume. Once it's attached, we can safely take a snapshot. And from that snapshot, we can create an exact copy of our original volume. We'll then attach the volume to a different instance and verify that our replicated data is there. Back to the curvature interface and open a console. Mount the volume replica. And there's our data. OpenStack also offers an object storage service that lets you store and access files through the browser and REST interface. We begin by creating a public container to hold some web assets. Then we upload an object that we want to make publicly available. We can also create a copy of our data. The public container and its contents is directly accessible through the web browser. Here's the top level container. And here's the file we just uploaded. We can also create a private container that is only accessible with project credentials and upload data to it. We can even create pseudo containers to mimic a nested file system. With this core set of compute, networking, and storage services, OpenStack gives you the foundation to build dynamic and powerful applications. To help get you started, Liberty includes direct integration with the new Community Application Catalog, an index of community-created images and applications that run on top of OpenStack. This concludes our brief demo of OpenStack Liberty. With our new Big Tent development model, OpenStack is now home to dozens of projects providing a multitude of compute, networking, deployment, and data services. Thanks for watching. Have a good time with OpenStack.